Join our free WhatsApp group to get daily latest updates. It's totally free. Part 1 You will hear a conversation between a foreign student and the accommodation secretary of the college at which he has enrolled. Look at questions. Excuse me, is this the accommodation office? Yes, it is. Hi, my name's uh, Wolfgang. I, I'm a new student here. I'm wondering if you can tell me some information about the housing arrangements at this college. Yes, certainly. Well, I mean, basically there are two types of um, accommodation. The most popular is um, the college accommodation, um, but we also offer accommodation with local families. You mean a kind of homestay? Yes, that's right. Well, let me, uh, can I, do you mind if I ask you a few questions about both of them? Let me start with the college accommodations. Um, what kind of rooms are they? Well, there are basically two types of room, either a single or a twin study bedroom. So that's... I'd have a roommate then. That's right, yes. So it's two people sharing a room. Do all of the rooms have their own bathrooms? Uh, they don't. You, you have to share. Um, a bathroom and a toilet, and showers with a group of rooms. So it's with about six to eight other students. I see. Well, uh, is it? can I wash my hands and so on uh, in the room? or? Oh, uh, yes. There is a wash basin in the rooms. But if I want to use the toilet or take a shower, I have to go down the hall. That's right, yeah. Ah, I see. Well, well that sounds fine. What about bedding? Uh, is that provided by the college? Or? Yes, yes, it is. Um, so all the bed linen is supplied. And the towels? No. So you have to bring your own towels with you. Oh, ha ha. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions. Well, if I then, uh, to wash my towels, uh, is there a place where I can do, go to do that or...? Yes, yes. So, um, there are two accommodation buildings in the college, and both of these have laundrettes. I'm sorry, they have a what? They have laundrettes. So these are places um, where you can take your washing, and there are washing machines. Oh, I is it free or...? No. So there are coin-operated washing machines. Oh, so I use the coins to make the machine work. Uh-huh, yes, that's right. Oh, OK, that sounds fine. And the, the rooms are actually cleaned um, every week. And the bed linen is changed also at the same time. Oh, that's wonderful. That sounds fine. Um, if, I, if I do decide to stay in, in the dormitory, I'm going to want to have a chance to watch television. I want to use TV to practice my English. Is there a TV in the room? Well, no, there isn't a TV in every room. Um, but there is a common room which has um, a colour TV in it and some kind of sitting areas so students can meet together and they can watch TV. Oh, well, that sounds fine. Uh-huh. And, uh, but actually there's also a large hall for films and discos and kind of parties and other social occasions. Oh, well, that sounds very good. That sounds interesting. I may want to do that. But before I decide for sure, let me ask about the other possibility. I think you said there's a kind of homestay program, is that right? Yes, that's right. So we select local families who um, want to have students staying with them for a short period. Hmm, well that sounds interesting. How, do I, uh, how does that work? Do I eat there every day and, and sleep there as well and so on? Oh, well basically there, there are two kinds of accommodation available here. So um, the first one is half board. So this is where um, you just eat breakfast and evening dinner with the family. Oh, and then lunch I would have on campus. That's right, yes. So that's, that's during the week. 
But at weekends you'll have all your meals. All the meals there. With the yeah, with the family. Um. So that's the the other one was. Uh huh. So that was half board. The the other one is bed and breakfast. So this is where you just have breakfast with the family seven days a week. So that includes weekends. And then I would have the lunch and dinner on campus. Is that how it would work? That's right. Yes. So it's just breakfast. Well, now that I think about it, I wonder if maybe that might not not be the better option for me. That way, I would have a chance to be practicing my English with the British family. I yes, I, I think I'll sign up for that. I'm pretty much sure that's what I want to do right now. Is it okay to go ahead and sign up immediately? Okay. Yes. Yes, that's fine. Right. Let me just see if I can find the forms. That is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part two. Part two. You'll hear the second part of the conversation between the foreign student and the secretary. Now look at questions. I think I'll sign up for that. I'm pretty much sure that's what I want to do right now. Is it okay to go ahead and sign up immediately? Okay. Yes. Yes. That's fine. Right. Let me just see if I can find the forms. Okay. Right. So your name is? My name is Wolfgang Schmidt. That's Wolfgang. Wolfgang. Okay. How do you spell that? W O L F. G A N G. Okay, G A N G. Uh huh. And my last name is Schmidt. Schmidt. Uh huh. S C H M I D T. S C H M I D T. And your address? You mean in Germany? Yes, yes. Your home address. Ah,、oh, it's Franz Dieter Strauss. Ah,、oh, how do you spell that? That's F R A N Z. F R A N Z. We say Z in Britain. Oh, I'm sorry. Z. Yes. F R A N Z. And the next word is Dieter. That's D I E T E R. Ah.、Uh-huh. And. And the last word is Strausser. Strausser. So that's. S T S T R A U S S E S S E Franz Dieter Strausser, number five. Number five. Uh huh. In Bonn. Right, and that's Germany, obviously. Germany. Uh huh. And your age? I'm twenty. I'm sorry, no. I just turned twenty-one yesterday. Oh really? Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh huh. Okay. And the program that you're in? I'm on the four-month program, so I'll be staying here until the end of December. Right. And so you have any special dietary requirements? I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Ah, is is there any kind of special food that you you need, or that you don't eat? Oh no, I like to eat most ever anything. Um. Ah, that's just as well with British food. I don't think so. I'm looking forward to uh trying some British dishes. Really? Well, okay.、Um, we like to to ask you something about yourself, your personal interests and things, so that we can match you with a an appropriate family. So. Oh, okay. So, do have you got any personal interests or hobbies? Well, I I like to do sports. Um, I especially like football. 
If it's possible, I'd like to be with a family, maybe, where there's somebody I could practice football with. Right, football. Um, and have you got any special requirements as to the family that you're going to stay with? Um. Oh well, you know, I come from a large family back in Germany, so maybe if it's possible, you could put me with a family where there might be a another young person or two. Perhaps it would be good. Right. So someone about your age, perhaps. Hmm. Maybe someone I could play football with. Yeah. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions. Right. Well, actually, I interviewed a family yesterday who seemed just right for you. Oh. Um, their name is Roberts. So it's the Roberts family. Um, Mr. Roberts is a bank manager. Oh, really? My father is a bank manager. Oh well, and that sounds very good. So his his wife is a part-time nursery school teacher. So she just works in the morning. Okay. And they have two children. The girl is eighteen. But she's actually just gone away to college, so this is why they have a room vacant. Oh, so I would, I would stay in her room then. That's right. Uh huh. Oh well, that sounds fine. And their son is sixteen years old, and he likes football very much. Well, that sounds very good. I think I,、uh, I'd like to meet this family. Is that possible to to do that? Yes, it is. Um, what I'll do is, I'll give Mrs. Roberts a ring now. In fact, she should be. Should be home at this time, so I'll give her a ring. Okay, thank you. That is the end of part two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part three. Part three. In this section, you will hear a conversation between Wolfgang and his new friend Mary, who has already been at the college for a few months. In the first part of the conversation, they're talking about a social activity program at college. First, look at questions twenty-one to twenty-seven. Hi, Wolfgang. Ah,、oh, Mary, how are you? Oh, fine. How's it going? Have you just had a class? Yes, I just finished my listening class. It was a little bit difficult. Yeah, yeah. It's always difficult when you first arrive somewhere. I found it quite hard when I first arrived. Hmm. But you know what really made a difference was going on these social activities that the the college arranges for you. It kind of gives you a chance to practice your English, and、hmm. I've heard that the college is pretty good about organising those kinds of things. How do how do I find out about it? Well, I've just picked up a schedule today. Let's let's have a look at it. Here it is. What is it? A schedule for for this week or? Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah. Maybe we can do some things together. In fact. Yeah, that would be great. So let's see, what are they doing tonight? Monday night? Well, they've so oh, they've got singing with guitar. So I went to this last week. It's oh really? Yes, it's quite good fun. Is it pretty good? Yeah, yeah. What do they do? 
Do they have a concert or? It's they teach you、um, modern and traditional songs. Hmm. Well, I'm not much of a singer, but.、Uh... Oh come on, you should go. It's really good fun. Well, I suppose it'd be a good way to practice my English. Yeah, 'cause you learn kind of British folk songs and things. It's yeah, it's really interesting. Oh, but look at that. That starts at eight, but I notice at nine o'clock there's a, a a late night coach to Cambridge for a film. I think I'd want to try go to try that. Uh, what time does this singing thing finish? Do you know? Oh well, usually it it kind of lasts about two hours, but I mean we can always leave earlier. They don't mind. Do. Oh, okay. So we can do both then. Yeah. So. Right. So that's at nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah. What movie is it? Let me see. Oh, oh, it's Rocky. Have you seen it? Rocky, Rocky. Oh, that's that's、uh, the one with Richard Dreyfus, isn't it? Richard Dreyfus? No, it's、uh, Sylvester Stallone. Oh yes, I remember now. American movie. Yes, I haven't seen that. I want to see that. Good. Let's go to that. All right. Oh. Okay. Oh, did you see on Tuesday that there's a tennis tournament? Tennis. Hmm. What time is that? Well, that's at four o'clock in the afternoon. Where is it? Is it on campus or? No, no. It's at w- Wembley, so that's in London. Oh, oh. So that it's pretty far away then. What time will it be coming back? Um. So it, the coach gets back at midnight. Oh, midnight. Well, hmm. Tell you what. I think maybe I'd better cancel on that because I've got a class Wednesday morning, and I'm afraid at about eight thirty. I'm afraid if I came back that late, I probably would.、Uh, I'd be very tired in class, and actually, I, I'm more into football myself anyway. Oh, football! Well, did you see there's a football match on Wednesday? Oh yeah. Well, who's who's playing? Let's see. Oh, it's England and Brazil. Oh, I really want to see that. Would you like to go together? Yeah, sure. What time is it? Let me see. It says fifteen thirty, so that would be three thirty. Three thirty, huh? Now I've got a, I have a lecture、uh, right after lunch on Wednesday at one thirty. Uh huh. What lecture is that? Oh well, there's a journalist coming from the BBC. He's going to talk about his experiences as a foreign correspondent. Oh, that sounds interesting. Would you Would you like to go? Yeah. What time do you say it was?、Uh, right after lunch, around one thirty. Oh, one thirty. I have a class then. What a sh. Oh yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Well, what time does your class finish? Finishes. It's an hour long, so it finishes at two thirty. Oh well, I shouldn't imagine. The lecture shouldn't go much later than that either. So after your class and after my lecture, we can get together to go to the football game. Okay. So we can meet. Let's see, maybe three o'clock, or or maybe three fifteen. Yeah, I think three fifteen would be all right. Okay, where should we meet? Well, usually these on these kind of trips, the coach leaves from in front of the dining hall, so maybe we could meet there. Okay, so in front of the dining hall at three fifteen, that sounds fine. Yeah, right. On Thursday, there's an international evening in school hall. Yeah, all songs and dances performance by students from all over the world. That's very interesting. Would you like to go and see? Yes. When is it? It will start at eight. Shall we meet at seven fifty in front of the school hall? Fine. Seven fifty in front of the school hall. Now listen to the second part of the conversation, and answer questions. Oh, and another thing, I definitely want to do this weekend、uh, is to go and see.、Uh, they're going to have a trip to Stratford on Avon. I think it's on 
Let me see. What day is that? Friday. I think my roommate told me. Oh, Friday. Would you like to go to that? Yeah, but are you sure it's Friday? I thought that's what he said, but I'm, I might have been mistaken. Well, usually these things are on weekends. Right. Let's see here. Oh, you're right. Yeah, Saturday morning, eight thirty. Aha.、Uh-huh. Right. Friday's the disco. Oh, disco. Yeah. So actually, I've arranged to go with some of my friends. So if you'd like to come along with us. Oh, that would be very nice. Yeah. Yeah, you can meet some more students. Oh well, what time? What time shall we go to that then? Well, it starts at what time? Eight thirty. But we don't want to go too early, so let's say nine or nine thirty. Let's say nine thirty. Okay, yeah, we can meet there. Um, but we'd better not stay too late because the Stratford thing is uh pretty early in the morning. The bus will be leaving at eight thirty. Oh yeah, right. So we want to make sure we get up for that. Yeah. Say, by the way, this trip, um, since it's uh quite a f- way away, do we have to pay anything extra for that, or is it free? Hmm. Well, usually most of the trips are free, but yeah, for these ones which are quite a distance away, then we usually have to pay a a little bit extra. Is it a lot or? No, it's usually about twenty-five pounds, something like that. Oh, well, do we have to tell them ahead of time that we're going to go? Yeah, usually you have to sign up a couple of days in advance. So. Oh, where where do we do that? Um. Well, you do that at the student services office. So you have to go and see one of the social activities officers. Oh, so I just tell them that I want to go and to pay my money and then sign my name. Well, I think I'll go ahead and do that today. Actually, I've got some free time right now. Do you know where I go to do that? Um. Yeah. Yeah. It's the the student services office. It's just across the road from here. Oh. Okay. Um. Well, across the kind of. You mean the green building over there? Yeah. Yeah. So it's on the second floor. Oh. Okay. Well, tell you what. Um. Are you going to the Shakespeare thing? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Would you like me to go ahead and sign you up as well? Oh yes, yeah, that'd be great. But well, I haven't got any money on me at the moment. Oh, don't worry about the money. That's fine. You can pay me back this evening. I'll go and sign us now, and then when I meet you tonight at the singing, you can uh give me the money then. Oh well, if if you are sure, that'd be great. No, it's no problem. Okay. Oh, is that the time? I'd better go. I've got a class. I'll be late. Okay, sorry. I'll see you later then. All right. See you tonight. Bye. Bye. That is the end of part three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turns to part four. Part four. You will hear a lecture on time. First, you will have some time to look at questions thirty-one to forty. The subject of this series of lectures is horology, the science of measuring time, and we'll be looking at a few basic concepts in this lecture. The measurement of time has come a long way since ancient times. It began with such devices as the sundial, where the position of the sun's shadow marked the hour. Daylight was divided into twelve temporary hours. These temporary hours were longer in the summer and shorter in the winter. 
simply because the amount of daylight changes with the seasons. The earliest sundial we know comes from Egypt. It was made of stone and is thought to date from 1500 BC. Sundials were used throughout the classical world and, with time, evolved into more elaborate devices that could take into account seasonal changes and geographical positioning and reflect the hours accurately, no matter what the time of year. This was quite an achievement in technology. Today, sundials can be seen as decorative pieces in many gardens. In the 11th century, the Chinese invented the first mechanical clocks. They were large and expensive, and certainly not intended for individuals. However, this is the type of clock we are familiar with today. There have been many developments in clocks and watches since then, and they have been greatly improved. But if your clock or watch makes a ticking sound, then it could well be based on the mechanical movements the Chinese developed a thousand years ago. However, timekeeping has moved on from the mechanical clock. Time has become so important that there is a series of atomic clocks around the world which measure international atomic time. Even though many countries have their own calendars, globalization has made it essential that we measure time uniformly. That we know, for example, that when, that when it's 6 a.m. in the United Kingdom, it's 2 p.m. in Beijing. This standard was set in 1958. Now these atomic clocks are situated in over 70 laboratories all over the world. There is so much to cover about the development of time measurement that I would like to refer you to the reading list. The core text is The Development of Time, Theory and Practice, but there are many other useful texts. A good grounding in the subject is given in Understanding Time by J. R. Beale. Although some sections lack detailed analyses, it does offer a good foundation. Also, Time, Concepts and Conventions is quite a useful read. You might think from the title that it's about the philosophy of time, but this isn't the case. Rather, it gives a good description of how different countries have different approaches to time in terms of calendars and days. Lastly, The Story of Time by David Harris analyzes time in great detail, and I would recommend this book if you are aiming to specialize in horology. Now, we're going to continue with an in-depth look at lunar and solar cycles. That is the end of part four. You now have half a minute to check your answers.